Throughout its 5,000 year history, the Indian subcontinent has suffered numerous invasions. The last was by the British. And among their greatest legacies were the railways which fanned out to the very edges of their Indian empire. But they quit India in 1947 and hurriedly partitioned the subcontinent. Now many of the old railway routes crossed the new frontiers and were terminated. A few survived. They are India's frontier railways. Of the two new borders created by partition in 1947, the most contentious was the line that cut the state of Punjab in half, the border between India and Pakistan. Since independence, India and Pakistan have fought three wars and engaged in countless cross-border incidents. But beyond the daily border war dances, there is one common bond. A single rail track which carries this cross-border train between India and Pakistan the Samjota Express. In 1947, this borderline was drawn on a map by a British judge, a partition that caused a million people to be slaughtered and 14 million to migrate. Yet despite their differences, Pakistan and India Railways have established this gateway, bringing families, communities, and nations together. India's capital has been a rail hub for more than 150 years. Its old Delhi station was commissioned by the British government in the style of the nearby red-colored fort. It has 800 trains a day, in and out, including the twice-weekly Samjota Express to Lahore in Pakistan. Because it's an international train, Delhi Station has its own dedicated platform and security staff. Vivek Srivasta is a North Region Divisional Railway Manager, and he's responsible for the train. It's a very special train. This is the only international train between India and Pakistan. Samjhauta literally means agreement, an agreement between the two parties. So this Samjhauta Express was started after the Shimla agreement between India and Pakistan in 1976. Every aspect of the service is rigidly regulated. There is a significant emphasis which is laid on running of this train. Unlike other trains on Indian railways, here a ticket is issued only once a person produces a passport. And because this train signifies so much, therefore it can always be taken as a target by those who are against this concept of friendship between the two great nations. Almost all of the people, they were traveling, not for business, but just to see their friends or relatives. In more ways than one, it was a journey of love that they have taken. It has got a romance built into the whole operation of this train.
500 kilometers away, is the final destination of the Samjota Express, Lahore in Pakistan. Lahore is the second largest city in Pakistan with a population of over 10 million people. It's always been the capital of the Punjab and a cultural hothouse. For over a thousand years, Lahore has remained a liberal, mostly peaceful and secular city. The British built Lahore station in the style of its sister station in Delhi, as part railway station and part fort. Under the British, Lahore Junction was surrounded by over a hundred acres of railway workshops, offices and training colleges. Walton is basically a training school. It started in 1925. And those who are already working, drivers and station masters, we have a refresher here. After partition, Pakistan inherited an entire railway system from the British, including all the equipment. Colleges like Walton were equipped to train the workforce of the Raj. Since then, little seems to have changed. Time 9 by 55 hour, is line clear for 24 down? 55 is line clear for 9 up express. With a desperate decline in investment in Pakistan's rail network, the finance minister recently warned of the railways facing near extinction. Yet the training continues. The course was in the first time, 1996 onward. Then it was a single course due to less participation. The Pakistan railways, like the British before them, ran their railways like a military operation. The book of railway rules and regulations still follows the British notions of discipline, loyalty, efficiency and love of sport. Both railways in India and Pakistan support talented sportsmen and women by giving them training and a job. They play for the railway at home and abroad. Second to cricket, the most popular sport on the subcontinent is hockey. One of the most successful players of women's hockey in the railways was Rahat Khan, more popularly known as the Hockey Queen. After 12 years working for the railways as player and trainer, Rahat left to look after her ailing father. But her commitment to the game of hockey never wavered. Now she's secretary of the Pakistan Punjabi Women's Hockey Association and the manager of the under-19 Punjabi girls team. So there is a lot of contribution, whether it is Indian Railway or whether it is Pakistan Railway. It is a lot of support for hockey. It is a lot of support for hockey. There are a lot of Olympians and Olympians who are playing in Pakistan Railways and Indian Railways. Like I am saying, my base, which I have thrown out, I have played the most of hockey on the side of the railway. But despite successfully nurturing young hockey talent nationally, she has not been as successful at home. I'm trying to make my son a player, but he's interested in cricket. He doesn't like playing hockey. In 1996, the Hockey Queen is packing for another international hockey tournament. Rahat is a modern and well-traveled Pakistani woman. 
तो हॉकी क्वीन तो मुझे 85 ये मुझे ये पाकिस्तान का पाकिस्तान रेलवे का मोनोग्राम है और ये जब मैं रेलवे में थी उस वक्त और ये तो 96 की है ये बेस्ट स्पोर्ट्स वुमेन Selected for her hockey playing talent, the railway supported, trained and promoted her to international level. She was the third generation of a railway family. मतलब काफी फैमिली जो है ना हमारी रेलवे में थी और इंडियन जो पहले पार्टीशन से पहले रेलवे थी उसमें थे फिर उसके बाद पार्टीशन के बाद फिर पाकिस्तान रेलवे में आ गए सब मेरे जो नाना थे वो भी रेलवे में थे और मेरे तीन मामू मेरे ताया मेरे अब्बू मेरी बड़ी बहन मैं खुद हम सब रेलवे और ये बस Rahat and the under-19 girls hockey team have been invited to compete at a sporting event in India. It's five days away from the greatest love of her life, but he's grown used to it. At Lahore station, more than 250 passengers are expected today for the Samjota Express to India. For many, it will be their first experience of international travel. Visas are not easy to obtain for cross-border travelers. It may take weeks or months, or it can be refused altogether, and the authorities don't have to give any reason. Despite the history of conflict between the two nations across this border, the determination of both India and Pakistan to keep this international line open is a testament to the importance they attach to it. The basic rationale of this train is to reunite families and friends separated by partition. And for almost 40 years, the Samjota Express has been doing just that. Visa, visa, Sani, Nal government me, badi mehr bani Pakistan government me bhi ta. Chalo India ne me ajazat ditti. Ye saariyan badiyan soltan chali mulaqat ho jandi. Aasi yadon leke ja rahe hain, manja rakhiya diya na. Te koi ek do tera char chhe gadbe manja mehne vasta leke ja rahe hain. Te panch kran paak leke ja rahe hain Pakistan de yadast. Amongst the crowd waiting to board the Samjota Express to India are Bilal and his father, Abiz. They've never stepped outside Pakistan, so they're a little nervous about the trip. Delhi, I have a pressure on my child. So, I'm going to get to my child's eyes. So, I'm going to get to my child's eyes. I'm going to get to my child's eyes. Now, I'm going to get to Delhi. Unable to find the right treatment in Pakistan, father and son trolled the internet and finally found a suitable clinic. But it was in India. उन्होंने हमारे से जो जो डॉक्यूमेंट्स मांगे हमने वो भेजा इंटरनेट के जरिए जब सारे हमारी इंक्वायरी पूरी हो गई कई डॉक्टरों ने हमें कहा मगर हमें ये बेस्ट ये लगी दे रहा है वाल Because Rahat is representing Pakistan and the under-19 hockey team, visas are not usually a problem. And anyway, she's travelled to India many times. But for Bilal and his father, it's much more daunting. This is the first time in the school. The first time in the school. It's a little bit of a bad thing. The Samjota Express carries some 50,000 people a year from Lahore to Delhi, but it's one of only two trains between the countries. It's cheaper than the bus or the plane. A second-class ticket costs just five pounds each way. 
return tickets are not available. With all the formalities completed, the Samjota Express will take only 60 minutes to reach the Pakistan border. But for Bilal and Abiz, it's a journey into the unknown. There's just one more gate to cross before the border. Khalid Mohammed is the gate manager at level crossing number two on the outskirts of Lahore. A railway man all his life, he's been at many railway crossings across the city. But train-wise, this must be the quietest he's ever experienced. With an average of just one train a day, it's not a hardship posting. But Khalid must be ready for action whenever duty calls. Khalid has just a few years before he retires, if he can survive the daily Lahore traffic. During partition on this line, many Sikhs, Hindus and Muslims were slaughtered and half a million people were murdered crossing this new religious divide. Trains carrying their mutilated bodies arrived at stations on both sides of the border. And that memory remains deeply ingrained in the psyche of the subcontinent. Even today, for Bilal and his dad, the journey from Lahore to the last station in Pakistan is not without tension. It's a high security area where passengers must clear Pakistan customs and immigration. The Samjota leaves Pakistan and enters no man's land. At the zero line, midway between the two countries, the train slows to a halt. Hello, Atari. They wait. Until they receive the permission to proceed, only then can the train cross the border into India. Indian side of the border is a Tari station, where the passengers will be scrutinized once again by the Indian Immigration, Customs and Security Services. Hello, Atari. Your number. The smooth running of the train service is the responsibility of station superintendent Madan. SS Madan is in constant touch with his counterpart in Wagga Station in Pakistan, and there are strict international protocols to be followed. 
Frequently, I am talking with Pakistan regarding working of trains with magnetophone. With this system, I am talking with Pakistan. I think there is no difference between Pakistan and India. They are using same language. My parents are also from Pakistan. And after partition, they came in India. Pakistan only we are three kilometers far away from Pakistan. This is an international station. The passengers arrive by Samjota Express at 12 by 30 hours. After completing all formalities like immigration process, custom process, ticket purchasing process, will leave for Delhi in special train at 20 by 15. Anitari. Father and son face a few hours wait before their onward journey to Delhi. But this time, it's on an Indian train. It's an eight-hour, non-stop, overnight journey to old Delhi station. And it's due to arrive at 3.20 in the morning. Bilal and his dad have never met the Indian doctor from the internet, only corresponded with her online. And they don't know whether she will approve Bilal's operation. They can only hope and pray. Rahat and her team have left the Samjota Express at Atari. Since the train won't stop till it reaches Delhi and the sports tournament is just a few hours away, it's quicker to continue their journey by bus. The Indian Punjab is rich in agriculture and is regarded as the breadbasket of India. Once known as the Manchester of India for its textiles, today's industries have changed. Now it's also famous for being India's biggest manufacturer of sports equipment, supplying a global market and India's national teams. The Punjab also claims to have produced more Indian international hockey players than anywhere else on the subcontinent. So it's fitting that the small village of Jharkhand, in the heart of the Punjab, is playing host for this mini Olympics. Today, Rahat Khan and her Pakistani girls hockey team are guests of honor. अच्छी तरह वेलकम किया और वहाँ तकरीबन सभी लोगों ने हमें बहुत प्यार से और बहुत अच्छे तरीके से कि ये पाकिस्तान से आए हैं. इसमें तकरीबन पूरे पंजाब की लड़कियाँ हैं. तो जाहिर है जब सेक्ट्री आई हूँ तो हॉकी टीम को बनाना और उनको खिलाना और मुख्तलिफ टूर्नामेंट्स में उनमें पार्टिसिपेट करवाना ये मेरी ड्यूटी है। The Punjab loves its sport and it holds an eclectic mix of events throughout the state, including Jharkhand's mini Olympics. They've even built an Olympic flame. Today, Rahat and the team are just spectators. They'll play their international hockey match against India tomorrow. Thank you for raising your hand. Thank you for coming to Jharkhand. To see Aapke Sanju Nawaja Hai, Asi Tonu, Hathi Chama Karne Hai, Tonu Tonu. By the time the sun set over the games at the Jharkhand Mini Olympics, the temperature at Atari Station dropped to nearly freezing, and a winter fog set in. The Samjota Express leaves Atari on time on its overnight journey to Delhi. The train has now been sealed. No one can get on or off. And it won't stop until it reaches its destination. There's always a visible presence of armed security on the train. They're there for the protection of the passengers. There's only ever been one terrorist attack on the Samjota in 38 years of virtually uninterrupted service. But in 2007, a bomb exploded on the train, an hour out of Delhi. It killed 68 people, mostly Pakistanis. Father and son are secure in their second-class two-tier accommodation and settle down for a welcome sleep after an exhausting but successful day. <laughs> A 
At the control room in Delhi Station, the Samjota is given a clear run through the railway network, a priority status, to ensure it's not held up or delayed. At the station, anxious relatives and friends have kept an all-night vigil on the Samjota platform. For one family, it'll be a meeting after decades apart. I'm from Jamiya Nagar, but I'm from Jamiya Nagar, and I'm from my sister. I'm from 25-26 years old. आए रही हैं वो हम छोटे-छोटे थे बहुत छोटे-छोटे थे जब वो गई थी अब हमारे बच्चे इतने बड़े हो गए जितने बड़े हमें छोड़ के गई थी वो अपने सब परिवार से भाई बहनों से मम्मी से 26 साल हो गए अपने सब परिवार से भाई बहनों से मम्मी से पापा का इंतकाल हो गया था तो वो आ नहीं पाई थी अब आ रही हैं वो her daughter was married off to a Pakistani man, and she hasn't seen her since. Mother, brother, and daughter are finally meeting for the first time on a platform on Delhi Station. There's no one to meet Bilal and his dad, but they're making their own way to a family friend's house. Nawi Ahmed lives in a large community of Muslims in Old Delhi, and he's offered to put them up. Muhammad Abi Sahab Singh Hyderabad ke rehne wale hain. Maha pe mere mamu, mere khala ye log sab maha pe rehte hain. Inke paas unka letter tha, aur unhone har tarah se inke mutalik likha hua tha ke bahut. जो भी है जैसे भी परेशानी में थे तो मेरा फर्ज बनता था कि मतलब इनके साथ कोऑपरेट करूं बल्कि मेरी मेरी खुशकिस्मती है कि मैं इनके काम आया। Family and community and a history dating back thousands of years bonds the peoples of the Punjab together. Abiz is a part of the first generation to be born in Pakistan after his mother and father moved there from India during partition. अब मैं तो पैदा भी नहीं हुआ था तब भी पाकिस्तान वाला जब से फिर वालदा वालसा मुझसे छोटा भाई के काल में दो तीन दफा आ चुके हैं यहाँ पर और मैं अभी तक नहीं आया हाँ वो सब हवेली बताते थे तो हमें गुमान है कि हमारी माँ का वहाँ इंतकाल हो जाएगा हम अपनी माँ से भी छोड़ जाएंगे In Jharkhand district in central Punjab, the mini Olympic Games are underway. In the dressing room, the hockey queen is issuing her last minute instructions. Railway is a Railway is a basic hockey promote department. Railway is a nursery. Railway is a groom. आपने टफ वाले स्टाइल से नहीं खेलना है और यू लंबी स्टिक से जो हिट मारते वो टफ पे चलती यहाँ नहीं चलेगी आपको बॉल जिस डायरेक्शन में जा रहा माल टा और कॉन्फिडेंस से खेलना कोई इतनी मसला नहीं है चलो शाबाश गुड लक चलो बैकअप जरूर फॉर द पाकिस्तान गर्ल्स इट्स एन ऑपरेशनिटी टू प्ले अ फ्रेंडली Shabash, Shabash. 1-0. India. Win. India win. 1-0. Oh. 
हार जीत तो लास्ट मिनट में ये गोल हुआ हार जीत को मानी नहीं रखती लेकिन हम इसे एज ए प्रैक्टिस टूर के तौर पे हमने लिया हुआ था कि हमारी लड़कियों को थोड़ा कि कैसे दूसरी टीम्स खेलती हैं एंड फॉर राहत गर्ल्स पहाप्स द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ अनदर कंट्री कुड प्रूव मोर वैल्यूबल स्टिल Guided by Nawi Ahmed, their generous host, Bilal and his father venture out into Delhi to make their appointment with their eye doctor. ये तो शाहजाबाद अपनी मन मुगलों के टाइम से आवाज करेंगे। हमारे यहाँ पर है, हमारे तो किला है, सेम ऐसे ही है यहाँ पर। पत्री पत्री गड़िया। वो तो यहाँ के ऐसे लगे ऐसे वहीं घूम रहे हैं। हाँ, सेम बिल्कुल ऐसे ही महसूस हो रहा है कि बिल्कुल मुझे पसंद है घूम रहे हैं। At the Nira Eye Center, the private clinic they found on the internet, they're meeting Dr. Agarwal to discuss the operation and to pay the 400 pound fee. Bilal's eye still pains him and the memory of that day is still vivid. I work on the battery, so I had a complaint that someone had a house, so I checked the battery, so I was on the fume of the fume. तो लाइट नहीं थी मुझे देखना था कि अंदर हो क्या रहा है तो उन्होंने कहा मोमबत्ती है तो उन्होंने जला कर दी जब तो मैंने जब आगे की तो गैसेस ने आग पकड़ ली और वो अंदर जो तेजाब जल रहा था वो मेरी डायरेक्ट आँख में गया जिसकी वजह से मेरी आँख जल गई अंदर से There are a few last checks to do on Bilal before approval, but Dr. Agarwal gives the go ahead. She'll operate today. We are hoping to restore sight in that eye. Cornea transplant would mean that I free the eyelid and I take small piece about two millimeter from the other eye and put in this eye so that cells from the left eye will grow into the right eye and then we can expect uh, some kind of reasonable vision in this eye. Inshallah, just some madad kar rahe. Inshallah, madad hogi. अल्लाह ताला ने चाहा तो मेरे बच्चे की आँख दोबारा बहाल हो जाएगी, दोबारा रोशनी आ जाएगी इसी आँखों के अंदर। अल्लाह से दुआ ही कर सकता हूँ, क्या अल्लाह ताला? सारा काम वो सही हो गया है। इस ऑपरेशन में हमने इनकी पलंग जो चिपकी हुई थी उसको अलग कर दिया। ठीक है। दूसरी आँख से दो छोटे-छोटे पीस निकाले हैं, लेकिन उस आँख को खुला छोड़ा है, जो उसके अंदर हमने दूसरी आँख से टिश्यू लगाया है। दूसरी बात ये है कि इस आँख पे पट्टी लगी रहेगी दो दिन तक। सोमवार को आपने दिखाने आना है, तब हम पट्टी खोलेंगे। और उसके बाद आप अपना रुख सती कर सकते हैं, घर जा सकते हैं, थ ऑपरेशन के बाद कैसा लग रहा है बस ये कि थोड़ी सी कमजोरी तो है बस जब पट्टी खुलने का इंतजार है अब बस जब पट्टी खुलेगी तो इंशाल्लाह बेहतर ही होगा और उम्मीद है कि अल्लाह ताला बेहतर करे। An Indian Hindu doctor operated on a Pakistani Muslim thanks to the World Wide Web and the Samjota Express. Punjab literally means five rivers, and it's always been one of the most fertile and contested areas in the Indian subcontinent. The Sikh empire of the Punjab was fiercely independent 
and had fought many wars defending its territory. After two major wars with the British, the Punjab was the last Indian territory to be merged into the British Empire. Loyal, courageous and highly skilled warriors meant the British suffered heavily in defense of the empire against the Sikhs. But during their hundred year occupation, they recruited Sikhs into the railways, the police, the army and judiciary, and they fought alongside the allies in two world wars. The religion of Sikhism was established here in the Punjab and the great saint and religious leader Guru Nanak founded the faith in the 15th century as a move away from the Hindu caste system and Islam. But since partition and the division of the state of Punjab, Guru Nanak's hometown is now in Pakistan. Today, 60% of the Indian Punjab remain Sikh and once a year on the birthday of the Guru, 3,000 Indian Sikhs make a pilgrimage over the border to his birthplace in Pakistan. Sikhanli Nankana sa hai bhoot mahaan asthaan hai. Jis tara musulman Makke Madine sajda karan jandiyan, isse tara isse koum jedi hai Nankana sa hai dhi putar tarti de hote, udhi charan tudi lehan lehi. Traveling the same route as a Sam Jota, the railway runs a special train, the Sikh Pilgrim Express, so Sikhs from India can visit their temples and some of their former homes across the border. Getting a ticket depends on a successful visa application, and the whole process has taken weeks. <laughs> There's no guarantee that you'll get a visa, and it's a complicated process. So for all these pilgrims, there's a frustrating wait for an answer. A list is duly posted. For the rejected, there's no redress, only disappointment. But for the successful, it's a blessing and a time of celebration. Others have mixed feelings about a journey into Pakistan. Pilgrim Express begins the three-kilometer journey to Wagga Station in Pakistan. The Pakistan side of the Punjab is still called the Punjab. Before partition, half of its population was Sikh. Today, it's more than 97% Muslim. Pilgrim Express crossed into Pakistan carrying its jubilant Sikh devotees. There's a heightened security on the occasion of this special train. But the pilgrims are undeterred. They're keen to spread their message of peace and goodwill, even at the border. <laughs> After customs and immigration, scores of buses are waiting for them. They travel in convoy, escorted by police and security forces, to seek temples right across the state. The most popular destination is Nanakantan Sahib, the birthplace of Guru Nanak. Surrounding the village of his birth, there are many Sikh Gurdwaras, each on the pilgrimage trail. For Indian Sikhs, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to visit Pakistan, 
and to show their devotion to their guru. The British had fought and conquered the Punjab, but they ruled it for less than a hundred years. After the Punjab was divided by partition, the ensuing wars between India and Pakistan destroyed bridges and terminated railway lines at the border. The Sikhs fled into India and were separated from their holy temples in Pakistan. The pilgrim special trains are one of the few limited concessions to the Sikhs, and they've been running on and off for more than 60 years. On the Guru's birthday, the majority of Sikhs travel to Amritsar in India. It's just one stop before the border on the Samjota route, and it's the heartland of the Sikh religion. There are now more than 30 million Sikhs worldwide, and they're growing. So for the staff at Amritsar station, it's one of the busiest days of the year. They're all heading for the most famous Sikh Gurdwara of all, the Golden Temple. So visitors at Amritsar station who are looking for information will probably consult Rupali Sharma, who's the head of both the Amritsar and Atari Northern Railways Enquiries Office. <laughs> My father and my uncle was in railways. And in 2008, I joined the railway. We are getting the fixed salaries, and job security is there, and uh, lots of satisfaction is also there. Rupali has a master's degree in chemistry and was a teacher, but she decided that the railways offered a much better future. You can say I was an introvert person. This is a drastic change after joining the railway. Now I'm an extrovert person. Because I have to deal with the public. A lot of experiences. I'm getting something new each and every day after joining railways. And then one day she met her husband, Dinesh, a ticket inspector, and everything changed. Uh, he's smart, and I just get attracted towards him. He was interested in marrying me, and uh, um, then he told that in, in his uh, family, we uh, are just of a mind, and this is the result is that we are happily married now, and the result is just before you. <laughs> you can say. <laughs> He's the best guy I ever met in my life, and I'm proud of him. Uh, we'd like to get some information. Um, on train times and uh, the Golden Palace. You can go to Golden Temple. It's a, a, we, we call it a temple, it's a temple for us. And um, Golden Temple uh, is just about two kilometers away from the station. Free bus service after uh, every half an hour. Okay, thanks. Okay, hey, welcome. Sikhism was founded here in Amritsar, and the Golden Temple has been here since 1601. It's the holy of holies for Sikhs the world over, and they flocked here in their thousands to celebrate Guru Nanak's birthday and to show their devotion to God, who they believe is timeless, formless, and omnipresent. Over the years, the temple has suffered many attacks. The last in 1984, when Prime Minister Indira Gandhi's troops stormed the temple to quell a Sikh rebellion. 
three months later, she was assassinated. Despite attacks on the temple and on the Sikh religion, the temple was always rebuilt, each time stronger and more beautiful than before, adorned with a hundred kilos of gold. On the Guru's birthday, the celebrations can be heard across the world. After the hockey game, and due to a confusion in the hotel booking, Rahat and her Pakistani girls under-19 team had nowhere to stay. The nearby Sikh temple came to the rescue and offered them free board and lodging for the night. So there was just time for the Pakistani Punjabis to say their fond farewells to their Indian Punjabi hosts before they start the journey home to Pakistan. It's been a wonderful experience for everyone, but there's just one last surprise. Our three teams were there, but Afghanistan fund की वजह से नहीं आ सकी और trophy ले ली. Runner up, winner लिखा गलती से. <laughs> Bilal went for his checkup and the bandages were removed. Now his eye is improving day by day. To celebrate, they use their last day in Delhi to do a little sightseeing. improvement <laughs> उससे बेहतर खुलने लगी है नजर में तो इम्प्रूवमेंट हो रही है सिलो सिलो बर दिखने में आ रहा है अब देखेंगे दो महीने बाद कितना इम्प्रूव होता है लेकिन बस ये कि कुछ करना तो है और कितनी जल्दी हो जाए बेहतर है मैं सब जा रहे हैं कि फाइनली पुद्वाले दिन की ट्रेन है पाकिस्तान जा रहे हैं For Bilal and his father, the time has come for their return to Pakistan on the train. <laughs> it's the beginning of another long journey, and with all the security and immigration checks, it will probably take almost 24 hours for them to get back home. My attention is train number 14001, Delhi Atari Special, is standing on platform number one. And they still have to buy their ticket from Delhi to the border. The Samjota has been in quarantine at Old Delhi Station, and it doesn't leave till late at night and takes at least eight hours to reach the border. Between Delhi Main and Atari, this train does not stop anywhere. That means that no passenger can get down or board this train in between. For security reasons, each and every piece of luggage is scanned. All these things are special to this. This is not accorded to other trains. This is a secluded kind of a platform where we have put additional security measures. Uh, 
I mean, it's a it's a train connecting two countries, and which not so long ago we were part of the same nation. बेहतरीन रहा अलहमदुल्ला दो दालों का आपस में मिला रहे हैं पाकिस्तान इंडिया तो दो दिलों को मिलाने वाली चीज़ है जब पाकिस्तान से इंडिया और इंडिया से पाकिस्तान लोग आते जाते हैं एक मेन जरिया है मैं समझौता जिससे लोग आपस में मिल जाते हैं समझौता लीव्स दिल्ली एंड सेट्स ऑफ इनटू अनदर फॉगी पंजाब Abiz has promised the doctor that Bilal will follow his strict regime of medication if his eye is to recover fully. At Atari, the temperature is down to zero. So the Samjota Express is delayed. Tonight, at Atari, Rupali Sharma is on duty at the inquiry office to sort out any problems. I deal with the people which has come across the border from Pakistan. It's a very emotional place to work because um, some of the passengers who came to meet their relatives here in the India and when they have to go back and they, they sometimes they become emotional because nobody wants to uh, depart from their uh, loved ones. Definitely, I'm, I'm a lady, I'm a soft-hearted lady and definitely it will have effect on my mind. Common men doesn't need a partition. Common men need food, they need clothes, and they need shelter, and nothing else. They don't need the boundaries. At the end of another day, Rupali and her husband Dinesh make their way home. But even with two regular pensionable railway incomes, a house, a car, and a caring community, there's just one thing missing from their five-year perfect marriage. After my marriage, after one month, I, I conceived. But uh, I faced a miscarriage. Um, then, then I conceived uh, after two years. Then again, I faced a miscarriage. Hello, hi. We have now uh, contact with a gynecologist and the some infertility specialist, and uh, we are just taking the treatment from last one month. Now we are waiting uh, for the next one, and uh, we have believe uh, in God, then he will give us the children also. We have faith on him. The Samjota leaves India and Atari, en route to Lahore and Pakistan. In 1947, a line was drawn on a map by a British judge, and it divided a people. Mahatma Gandhi had warned India and Britain about the consequences of partition, but they ignored him. Six months after independence, he was assassinated. Personally, I also don't feel that there should have been any border. 
that is my personal view yes i i stand by it why should there be a border between india and pakistan and bangladesh we are the same people happy जा रहे हैं जराने क्या हाल होगा मेरे साथ जाने कैसी बस अजीब फीलिंग हो रही थी ये दस बारह दिन आठ दस दिन जो हमारे डेवर है बहुत बेहतरीन अभी घर में तो हम इंतजार कर रहे हैं आशा और एक्साइटेड हो रहा हूँ Rahat may be the last of three generations of a sporting railway family. Even her father was a goalie for the railway football team. Meri family ki hai photograph. Me, ye mere abbu. Ye mere taya, ye mere nana. Ye log railway mein the. Railways ka bahut bura haal ho gaya yahan par. आधे से ज़्यादा ट्रैक बंद हो गए हैं और पता नहीं क्या बनेगा ये ये रेलवे की टीम बहुत मेमोरीज हैं बस अब ये है कि वो वक्त वापस नहीं आ सकता क्रिकेट 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 काम करना और बात होती खेलना और बात होती इतना ही कि रेलवेज में जॉब करनी है Yeah. <laughs> Rupali and Dinesh are still hoping for a child. And maybe one day their dreams will come true. And oh. I haven't any particular choice whether a daughter or a son, uh, he or she will be welcome. And if I get twins, then both are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> This 550-kilometer border was a compromise agreement in exchange for independence, but the costs are still being felt. Nearly a million people died. As a people, we have not been able to grow out of that. Probably with younger generations, uh, it will be, you know, able to put it behind us. Uh, but that has not really happened so far. If the railways truly provide a gateway to a better understanding between the peoples of Pakistan and India, then plans to double the number of cross-border trains herald a more optimistic future for the Indian subcontinent. For while the border divides, the train unites. <laughs>